Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're talking about the colon command. Well, it's not actually a command, but we'll show that in a bit. What it does, why I use it occasionally. Uh, I actually did another video on this topic and briefly mentioned the points I'm going to go over in this video, so I will link that in the description. Uh, but this one goes in more detail and I felt like it was worth revisiting. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so uh, this originally came up while I was working on a shell script for the Discord bot that is running in my Discord. Uh, we were writing out a cloud init script, which is not important for this video, but maybe I'll cover that in another one. And I was using this colon command and some what looks like comments. And normally this actually kind of acts like a comment, but it's a little bit different than that. So for instance, if we, you know, do colon foo bar, you'll see that it prints nothing. And so if it were in a shell script, uh, user bin and bash, uh, colon hello, hello. Uh, and if we were to run this, bash t.sh or chmod plus chmod plus x, if we were to run this, you'll see that it prints nothing. So it acts kind of like a comment. Uh, you know, if we had a comment here, they would both not do anything at all. But the colon command is subtly different than that. And in order to explain what it actually is, I have to also introduce two other commands, which are the commands true and the commands false. Uh, these are two commands or shell built-ins. <laughs> Spoilers, that's what colon is, it's a shell built-in, uh, which are provided by your shell or by your operating system. And they are very, very simple commands. True is a command which uh, does nothing and exits zero and false is a command which does nothing and exits zero. You can also pass arguments to them and they ignore them. So if you do this or false hello hello, uh, you'll see that they ignore the arguments and they still set the exit code to not zero. Dollar sign question mark here is show the exit code. So knowing true and false, uh, colon is an alias to true. So if we do the same thing with colon, <laughs> of course this looks a little bit uh, silly here, uh, colon, produces no output and exits zero. Uh, and if we say type colon, you'll see that colon is a shell built-in. You can also say type true, and that'll also be a shell built-in and type false. On other systems, this may show up as bin true and bin false. And in fact, if we do type backslash true, uh, oh, even that is reported incorrectly, interesting. Because if you do backslash true, this actually runs bin true, um, which is an actual command, an actual executable. Anyway. A little bit off topic there. Uh, I'm surprised that this. Uh... Anyway, this is a little trick that I learned uh, <laughs> actually from chat. If you put an escape sequence somewhere in your command uh, or escaped letter, it'll bypass alias expansion, which is kind of a weird little thing. Anyway, so colon is an alias for true. Uh, so why would I use colon over a uh, comment which doesn't actually perform any execution? This is just parsed and ignored, whereas this is actually run. Uh, the reason that I would use colon is if you look at the script again, I'm running in a bash strict mode, uh, EUO pipe file. I did another video on that. I'm going to forget that one in the description, though. So search my channel for bash script, strict mode if you want to find that video. Uh, I'm actually using a strict mode which has set-x in it. Now, the nice thing about set-x is if you run a command, so let's say we actually wanted to, uh, I don't know, cpt.sh to tdo.sh. I don't know. So silly example here. If we were actually running a command, uh, in dash x mode, it's going to print out the command that runs, whereas the comment is not printed. Whoops, I didn't need to do that. I meant to highlight it. Uh, whereas the comment is not printed. Now, this has a slight advantage over echo for you know printing out debug, or, or in this case, it was section headers. Uh, it has a slight advantage over echo in that echo will print the the thing that you want that you're doing twice, which to me just looks a little messy. Uh, so I, I like I like this instead. It's a little bit of a hack, uh, and it does actually work if you use true as well instead of uh, instead of colon. Uh, true also does the same thing, but I think the colon looks nice. Anyway, <laughs> that's my silly explanation for the colon command and why I use it in shell scripts that use dash x. But anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.